Welcome to the Essex Brownell ePortal. The portal is a place where you can view inventory and get pricing for your Essex Brownell items. You can see invoices, open orders, and shipped orders, and you can place an order online for your Essex Brownell items anytime you want at your fingertips. The portal is a place where you can view our online catalog. To use the portal, you have to be registered. If you click on My Essex Sign On, and then click here, it will show you where you can register to use the portal. Once you're in the portal, there's a couple of ways that you can find an item. If I click on online shopping, it's going to give me a list of all of our items in the categories that they're organized in. The items that are available currently to order online have a shopping cart to the right of the category name. We're continuously adding new items, so keep checking back to the website. If I wanted to find motors, I could click on electric motors. From here, you have the option to search by horsepower, RPM, volts, frame, and enclosure. If you know a specific feature about the item, you can enter it in the search box. For example, if you know the manufacturer's part number, you can enter that in the box or any other characteristic of the item and we'll find it. In this case, I'm searching for the Century Motor model number C311. As you can see, we now have a price which is your customer specific pricing. We also show you the quantity that we have available at your primary location. If I click on product detail, I get more information about the item. All the characteristics and specifications, the data sheet, and any other information that we have stored about the item. Again, you can see your specific price and what we have on hand. If you want to see where we have this item at other locations, click on global inventory and it will show you where we have this around the country. If you decide you want to order material from another location, you can do it from this screen. Another feature is the supplier item cross-reference. For example, if we didn't have that particular item that you're looking for and you want to find that item from another supplier, the supplier item cross-reference will give you that information. In this example, our item is also sold by Needick and Marathon. You'll want to look at the product detail for the item to make sure that it fits with your needs. What we show you in the cross-reference is roughly an equivalent of the item, but you still want to do your checking to make sure that it is exactly what you're looking for. Once you find the item that you're looking for, you can add it to the cart by clicking on the cart. You can select the quantity that you're looking for and click on Add to Cart. If you hover over the cart in the upper right hand corner, you can see what you've added to your cart. It'll show you your quantity and your price. And I'm going to add one more item to my cart. Now I have two items in my cart. If I hover over my cart, you can see my two items. Once I'm done with the items and I'm ready to check out, click on my cart and go down to proceed to checkout. While I'm still in the cart, I have the opportunity to make changes. I can change the quantity or I can remove items from my cart. Once I go to checkout, I can have this order shipped to my primary location or I can have it shipped to another location. I can select an alternate location that I've used in the past or I can enter a brand new location. If your account is set up to pay by credit card, this is where we would ask for your credit card information. You have the option here to enter a PO number and you can also add notes. For example, if you have specific requirements for when you want it to be shipped or if you need to have special freight terms, you want to have it overnighted, this is the place where you would put that information 
to send to the customer service rep. Once I'm done with my notes, I move on to the line items. Again, I have the opportunity at this point to change the quantity if I want to. I can remove items from the cart or I can just finalize my order. What you see for the total does not include any applicable taxes or freight. Once I click on finalize order, I get a confirmation. The confirmation shows me everything that I've asked for, where I want it to be shipped, any notes that I've included, and also a confirmation number. This confirmation also gets emailed to your email address and you will receive an email from Essex Brownell once the order has been booked. Now that I'm done with my order, we'll go back to the catalog and this time we're going to look at some magnet wire items. For magnet wire items, the pricing is a little different. What you see on the screen is the price that includes COMEX, which is subject to change. If I go look on the product detail page, the pricing that I see is the total, plus I can see all the components that make up the pricing, differential, metal, and surcharge in this case. Another new feature about magnet wire items is the way that you can place your order. You can order in either pounds or pails or reels depending on how the item is carried. In this case, this item is carried in pails and it's 80 pounds per pail. So if I click on my cart, I can order in pails. So if I order three pails, that would be 240 pounds. When I add this to my cart and I hover over my cart, you can see that I've ordered three pails and now the price that you see is by the pail, not by the pound. Another feature of the catalog is something called a wish list. The wish list is a way for you to look up items that you buy on a regular basis, add them to your list, and then use those to create a cart. Now I've created wish lists ahead of time, and I have one that I've called stock list. And the stock list is a list of items that I buy on a regular basis and I don't want to have to look them up every time. And I've added a farm duty motor to my wish list. If I go back to the catalog, I can continue to add items to my wish list. If I click on product detail for this item, add to wish list, now it's going to ask me where do I want to see this item. I'm going to add it to my stock list. And now I have two items in my wish list that I call stock list. Now let's say I have another use for this same item and I want to create a different wish list. Now I have a wish list called stock 2 and I've added this item to my other wish list. So each wish list is independent and you can have any number of items on the list. If you decide that you want to place an order you go to the wish list that you stored, click on entire wish list, and now we've created a cart with the items that are on that list. Now maybe you have an order that recently shipped and you want to order that again. Well, rather than looking up each item, you can go to your shipped orders, you can find that shipment, and you can add that item to a cart. In this example, there's one item that we shipped, and I've now added it to my cart. If I go hover over my cart, you can see there's the item that I just added that came from my shipment. You can do the same thing from open orders. If you have an order that hasn't shipped yet, you can create a cart from an open order. As you can see, the portal gives you a lot of features that you can do on your own time, anytime you want, at your fingertips. Find items from the catalog, find inventory and pricing, place an order, get a confirmation, and view your open orders, shipments, and invoices. Contact us today to get started.